the next will be to give the dimension right now we are on this surface therefore at first we will give dimension on this side is 175 50 32 32 25 click on annotate at first change your dimension style to annotative click here and select annotative and click on dimension click on ok give first point give the second point give the location now text is not properly visible press escape and increase the scale from here before that if your this option is not on add scale to annotate object make it on then change the scale now it is properly visible then we will make some settings click here for dimension style modify then click on text make it above select ISO standard in fit click on this draw dim line between extension line in primary units select precision of 0 click on ok close now it is properly shown then next is this 32 I can click on dimension select the first point then drag this point and drag this point drag this two point this point and this point where it is showing the intersection give the location then same way give dimension here first point then drag this point this end point and this end point go inside once you track the points click there and take your cursor down and click there then escape now tracking is not shown properly we will switch to hidden mode so that it will show the tracking properly then next is to give the 50 here click on annotate dimension now here quadrant is not shown click here and make the quadrant object snap on click outside and take your cursor here now it is showing the quadrant take this quadrant point and this quadrant point take your cursor below and click there escape then to give this dimension of 25 again click on home here and choose face option and select this face and enter then give the dimension click on annotate we will give the diameter click here and select diameter select this arc take your cursor inside and click there next is to give dimension on this face for that click on home click here and select the face option again select this face enter then give the dimension click on annotate dimension select this first point select this center point and give the distance of 25 here same way again select this midpoint select this center point and give the distance of 16 escape then select this diameter and give the diameter of 12 escape then we will give this 28 distance click on home click here and select the face option select this face enter and click on annotate take the dimension give the center point orbit it select this midpoint take your cursor outside click there then this radius of 9 take the radius command select the arc take your cursor inside and click there then on this surface click on home click here and click on this face option select this face enter and again click on annotate click on this dimension click on the midpoint this midpoint and this midpoint and click here 
now here actually nine distance is coming reverse actually we need it above again click on home click on face select this face and click on flip x we want z to be outside click on flip y now x is below and z is outside press enter and click on annotate click here and select linear select this midpoint this midpoint give the location now 9 is shown properly same way on this side linear first point second point location and 32 same linear this point first point second point third point okay to shift this we need to be on this surface click on home click on face select this face enter click on this dimension select this grip orbit it select this grip and take it inside escape click on asymmetric then this 12 now we want to give it on the top of this plane for that we have to switch our plane to this top now as this is a curvature we cannot use the face option for that we will use the UCS option click on home then click this 3 point UCS 3 point now give the new origin point will be this one x direction is this one y direction is this one now we will give the dimension click on annotate click on linear select the first point second point location is there only it is showing the 12 again same here first point second point location where all the dimension has been given click on home click on shaded then if you want to give color to the object double click on it and select the desired color and press escape that's all thanks for watching we will stop here